Hello guys, in this video, we will create a lens flare and uh, reflection materials. Also, we will combine the effects we created in the previous video. And now we get a heat effect like this in the level. Okay, first we need this flyer texture to create a light flyer and the reflection materials. We can create this texture in Photoshop or search and download online. Okay, now let's see the materials. First is lens flyer. Yeah, it's very simple. We use name root. It's a lens flyer shape. We just use sphere mask to create a glow and add our flyer texture to make this shape. And in the main material, it's very simple. Just use particles color multiplied shape. And in details, the blend mode is additive. Fading model is unlit. Also, we use to set it. Okay, now let's see the reflection material. In this material, we use two named root. One is shape and another is reflection color. Now let's see the blend mode is also additive, shading model, unlit. Yeah, we can see in this material to set it is disabled. That's because we use this material in the Niagara. In Niagara, we use this material in Spirit Render. Basically, they are all facing the camera. So what we say is always is front side. Unless we set its facing and alignment. Okay, now let's see the ring shape. Yeah, we made this node in the previous video. Uh, the smoke effect. We used two sphere mask to create a ring. And particle relative time. That means it's particles normal light lifetime. When particle spawn, the value is 0. When particle is died, the value is 1. Okay, now let's go back to the main material. We use ring shape, multiply the particles alpha and connect to depth speed. It's our opacity. And also, we can use this node connect to the derp. A is 1, B is 1.3. This is our reflection. And notice that if we want to use reflection, we need search reflection in the details. In reflection method, we use the index of reflection. By default, it's none. We can't use reflection. Okay, and then it's normal. We just use the texture provided by the engine. A uh, water normal. And in text card, we set the UV tiling is 0 0.05. Okay, and then it's reflection color. Let's see, it's also very simple. We use particle color and hue shift to make a lerp and multiply by the flare texture. Okay, let's go back to the main material. This is our reflection material. Now let's create the heat Niagara. First, let's create a flyer. We use the material lens flyer. And life cycle is style once. Also, we use a spawn burst. The spawn count just one. And in particle spawn, the lifetime just 0 0.25. Color mode also we can use a user parameter. A linear color. By default color, we can set a bright. 
and then split size we can set it to 350 okay and in practical update we can scale split size 0 to 1 to 0 and in 0 0.2 the value is 1 in the end we can set the value to 0 0.3 and scale color, we use vector from float and float from curve. It's same like scale split size. But this time, in the end, the value is zero. Scale alpha is same float from curve. One to zero. Okay, now let's copy this flyer emitter to create a refraction emitter. First, let's replace the material, its reflection material. And most of the settings here should be the same. Uh, yeah, we can set split size to 400. Make it bigger and clear. And in scale split size, we just make the curve 0 to 1. And when key data is 0 0.2, um, it's too fast. 0 0.5, yeah, it's okay. Okay, there's nothing to change anymore. Now we just copy the Niagara we created in the previous video and paste to here also we need to make sure the life cycle and uh, user color is same okay let's see the heat effect in the level Yeah, it should be okay. Also, we can modify these parameters like color, split size as we want. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Bye.